Good morning, guys. I just went and dropped my son off at school for the day and did some grocery shopping. I just put all the groceries away and I wanted to open up these boxes that came in last night. I happened to see them outside around 8 p.m. I don't know what time they were dropped off, but we had the craziest rainstorm last night and these were soaking wet. So I kind of just opened them all really quickly just to make sure that the products inside didn't get wet. Thankfully they weren't, but I figured we could unbox these things and maybe try some things on and see how they are so we have the new color pop it's a small world collection I'm very excited about this one we have a new sunscreen from good molecules and also some things that I got from Tatcha for Black Friday and I also got this from Amazon I saw some people on TikTok using this brow stamp thing it's called mad love and it looked really interesting like all their brows came out really good so I wanted to try this as well all right so let's head on upstairs under my ring light we'll open up these boxes see what's inside and then we'll do a quick try on okay so first let's check out the mad love brow stamp so it comes in a little tube like this and they also give you some brow stencils and these are actually plastic reusable stencils and they have a bunch of different shapes so you can just find the one that matches your brow and then they also give you a little spoolie so the color that I got is blonde and I wasn't sure what color to get but some of the reviews on Amazon said that even the blonde color was a little too dark for them so I'm hoping that this is okay so the product itself the powder is in the cap so you want to dip in like this and I just want to quickly put a little on my hand and we'll see what the color is like Okay, I mean, that's definitely not going to be too dark for me. It might even be just a little bit too light. I probably should have gone up to the next shade, but I guess we'll see how we can make it work. And then in the box from Good Molecules, they sent over their Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. This says that it's hard to find a mineral sunscreen with enough SPF protection that doesn't leave a white cast, especially if you have a darker skin tone. So that's why they created this one. It's $12 for a 50 milliliter tube and 13.3% zinc oxide. They also said that it's a non-greasy formula. So I just want to put a little bit on my hand and see what it's like. So here's a look at the tube. It's a 1.7 fluid ounce. And I'll just put a little bit. It has a really light silky texture. It actually feels like a chemical sunscreen. It's not thick like a lot of the mineral ones are. And yeah, it's disappearing into my skin really well. I don't see a white cast at all. It doesn't look overly greasy or shiny. It just looks like my skin. That is really, really beautiful. And it has no scent to it either, which is great. Next from Tatcha, I got two more products during their Black Friday sale. I ordered early and I just have been loving everything I got. So I wanted to try these two more products as long as they were still 25% off. One of them is the Ageless Neck Cream. So this is really expensive. I've had my eye on it a long time and I figured if I'm ever gonna buy it, 25% off is probably the best time to do that. So it seemed to have very good reviews, but I don't know. I haven't had the best luck with most neck creams. I think probably the best one I've tried so far is the Crepe Erase. But like I said, I've just had such great luck with Tatcha's skincare in general that I'm hoping for the best with this one. So I'll just pick up a little bit and see how the texture is. Okay, so it's a very lightweight, really silky cream. It's not something that's super thick, but it does have a really nice richness to it. And it claims to create firmer looking skin over time and reduce the appearance of crepiness, lines, and wrinkles. Just smoothing it on my hand, I feel like it kind of has a little bit of a tightening effect. So yeah, when I do my try on, I'll definitely put some on my neck and see if it has any sort of instant effect or if it's just something that's gonna have to work over time. And then the other thing that I got is the Indigo Body Butter. So if you guys saw my Sunday video, you know that I've been really enjoying the Indigo Face Cream, the mask. So this body butter actually comes in a pretty large jar and it was around $36. So it's pricey, but with the 25% off it was isn't so bad and I love how the way and I love the way that the face cream makes my skin look and feel so I'd love to have that for my body as well it actually is tinted a little bit of an indigo color the face one is not it has a really beautiful light fresh scent very similar to their other products I'm just gonna put a little bit on my arm right here 
It has a nice thick cushiony texture and this feels incredible. Wow. It has a really beautiful silkiness to it that a lot of body butters that I've tried don't have. A lot of times body butters can feel just thick and sticky, but this just feels very, very silky and smooth. I feel like my skin just looks really dewy and it has a bit of a glow to it. So that is really beautiful. And then for free with my order, they sent these over, the mini of the Indigo Overnight Repair. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to that for when I travel and a mini of their Silk Canvas Primer. So anyway, very excited for new skincare. And then let's check out what I got from ColourPop. I'm so excited for this collection. I saw it on Instagram, and this was my son's favorite ride at Disney. It's a small world. We went when he was five, and he just wanted to go on this over and over again. He just loved like all the colors and the animals, all the little animatronic figures. And I absolutely love the retro vibe of this because that's exactly what the ride is like. Also in the box are three pressed powders blushes then we have two of the super shock highlighters which are some of my favorites and these are the tie-dye ones which are really fun and then we have the fresh kiss glossy lip stain so if you haven't tried this formula it's basically it goes on like a gloss but then when the shine wears away it leaves a little bit of a stain behind so they're more long lasting all right so let's go ahead and do some quick swatches and then we'll try everything on so first up we have the palette and this one actually has some different shapes for the pans which is going to bother some people if you like to swap out your pans and put them in different palettes these diamond shapes aren't really going to work for that unless you have a z palette or something where you can put any shape pan but I really love the colors I think this looks gorgeous okay so here are the swatches just a few quick notes this gold shade is kind of like a glittery topper it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation to it it's more on the sheer side so it's just going to give you like a wash of gold glitter this shade right here is actually a super shock shadow so this is a cream formula but the rest are just color pops normal matte shades and shimmer shades okay next we have the three blushes so the first one is called around the world and it's a bright cool tone pink the next shade is happiest cruise and this one it looks like a deeper dusty mauve it's actually a really unique color at least for my collection I don't feel like I have anything quite like this one and then the last one is dancing darlings and this one is sort of like a deeper berry red all right so I think these are really beautiful as well I feel like for my skin tone I could use these two shades this one I don't know I might be able to if I really sheared it out but I'll definitely have to see about that and these are all uh, matte finish so nothing has any shimmer to it next we have the two tie-dye super shock highlighters so this one is called jubilant chorus and this one is whimsical ride and these are both beautiful if you're my skin tone or lighter and you don't feel like you could use this one as a highlighter i feel like it would be a really great blush topper as well so i'm really loving both of these colors and then last but not least we have the smooth sailing collection so this is the fresh kiss glossy lip stain vault and look at how cute the packaging is inside it's just like the ride where it says hello in all the different languages so the first shade is seven seaways next up is smiling faces then we have Sing Along and Clock Tower. So again, we have Seven Seaways, Smiling Faces, Sing Along, and Clock Tower. And these do start out glossy and then they leave a stain behind once the gloss is kind of set down and the shine is worn away a little bit. So I think all these colors are really pretty. There's a really nice variety in here and you have some warmer colors as well as some cooler ones. All right guys, so let's try everything on. I'm gonna start with the neck cream from Tatcha. I have these horizontal necklines here that have gotten more prominent over the years. And even though I've been using skincare and really taking care of my face since my 20s, I did neglect my neck for a long time. And unfortunately, that is showing now. So I'm hoping to find something that even if it doesn't take this away, it'll at least slow things down a little bit more. All right, so we'll kind of let that sit and see if that tightening effect that I felt will make these lines look a little bit less noticeable. I also want to try the Good Molecules sunscreen and see if it has a white cast or not. I think especially in these bright lights, if it does have a white cast, we should be able to tell. It doesn't seem to, though. It's sinking right into my face and I love, love this texture. It's so silky and soft. It kind of feels like I'm applying a primer or a moisturizer. Yeah, it has probably one of the nicest textures I've ever felt in a sunscreen. Okay, so moving on to brows, I'm just gonna take this little brush that came with the Mad Love set and brush my brows up. They always tend to point downward. 
I went through and I picked the stencil that I think works well. Honestly, none of them matched up to my brow completely, but hopefully this is close enough. So what they said to do in the little video is to put this on your brow, kind of line it up with the arch and get the tail exactly where you want it. And then kind of hold it with two fingers like this. And there are actually some lines right here on the front. You can go all the way to the end, or if you don't want them to go that far, you can stop at the first line, which is what I think I'm gonna do. All right, I actually just switched arms because that was really awkward doing it that way. Okay, this is much better. But it doesn't look like the color is applying. I don't know. Whoa, this just slid down. I feel like this is not gonna come out very well. I think the color might be a little bit too light. It doesn't seem like it's showing up. The TikTok videos make it look so easy. But this thing, I feel like it's sliding around. It's hard to hold it. Okay, I don't know. I mean, it did something. From far away, it probably looks fine. But when you look up close in person, you can definitely see where my brow is and then it just looks like this lighter colored powder kind of sitting above it. I wonder if I could just kind of wipe that away a little bit. I guess it's a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna do the other one just so that they match. TikTok and their gimmicks, I tell ya. <laughs> They suck you in, but then it's never as easy as it looks like it's gonna be. <sighs> I don't know, this just seems like more trouble than it's worth. Um, when I was dipping this thing back into here, sometimes when you dip, it, it clicks and it locks, and then you have to try to twist it with one hand just to get it back out. Meanwhile, I'm trying to hold the stencil with this hand and make sure it doesn't slide around, so I'm pressing really hard, and you can see my skin is kind of all irritated right here. I don't know, I just feel like it's much easier to just fill in my brows the regular way. This is a good idea in theory, but I don't really know if it's worth the 30 bucks or whatever I paid for this. Okay, let's apply some eyeshadow. I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with the pink and purple family because of what I'm wearing. So I'll probably start with this shade, Imagination, which I'll just put in my crease. And I'm gonna apply it with the BK Beauty 211 brush. So I tried Heatless Curls again today using the bathrobe tie, and they actually came out a lot nicer. I washed my hair this morning, and then I fully dried my hair with the hair dryer. And then I wrapped my hair around it, like you see in all of the Heatless Curl tutorials, but I only left it for like an hour. And even though my hair was fully dry, once I had it wrapped, I just kind of ran my hands under the faucet and I just dampened it a little bit. Like I just put my wet hand over it because I knew that I was gonna be filming this video. So I wanted to make sure it dried all the way, but I still wanted to get it a little damp just so that it would form curls. And it actually, I mean, it worked. The curls aren't as tight as they were when I slept on it for eight hours, but I actually like these really loose curls. And to be honest, I had the worst night's sleep when I tried doing the heatless curls with the robe tie, even though it's soft, it still felt lumpy. All right, I think next I'm gonna use this purple shade in this diamond right here. And I'm gonna apply this all over my lid with the BK Beauty 2, what is this one? 209 brush. I like this combination of colors. This is really pretty. I almost wanna add a little bit of blue to it too and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna pick this one up as well. I don't know what this is gonna turn out like, but maybe I'll do the blue like toward the inner corner and then blend it. That actually is pretty. I really like that combination. And then maybe just to make it pop, I'm gonna put the Super Shock Shadow like right in the middle, this one right here. I don't know, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, so hopefully it comes out okay. So I'm sort of just patting this on the seam where the purple met the blue. Sort of like those halo eyes that everybody used to do. Okay, so here's how this came out. Honestly, I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do with this palette. It seemed a little bit disjointed when I looked at all the different colors going on. It was a little confusing, but sometimes I have to just kind of start playing around and adding colors and then it ends up working out. I'm just gonna apply mascara. This is the Thrive liquid lash extensions. Moving on for my face, I'm just gonna apply the Joa Perfect Complexion BB Cream, and this is in the shade Vanilla. Most of the time, I just apply this with my fingers. This formula reminds me a lot of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It's just way more affordable. It has the feel of a tinted moisturizer, 
but it has a lot more coverage. It also seems to be applying really well over the Good Molecules sunscreen. It's not like pilling up or doing anything weird. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the Joa concealer to my outer corner of my eye and just blend it back toward the center. This is the lightest shade in the concealer. It is shade FC10. And I think the FC stands for fair cool. For blush, I wanna use the shade Happiest Cruise, which was that middle shade that was kind of a deeper mauve. And this brush is the BK Beauty 107 brush. It almost matches the sweater that I'm wearing. It almost goes on a little bit softer than it looks in the pan. It looks like kind of a little bit of a deeper shade and I was worried that I picked up too much, but really it applies just the right amount of color. I do find that about ColourPop's blushes that they're a little bit more buildable. I'm just in love with this color. I feel like I don't have a lot of other blushes like this in my collection. When it comes to the highlighters, we have the really light shimmery one, and then there's the other one that kind of looked like a blush topper. In a way, I don't want to mess with this color or put a topper on it because it just looks pretty the way it is, but I really, really want to try this. So maybe I'll just put it like just a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't actually add that much color. It's very sheer. It just adds a little bit of sheen. Ooh, this is gorgeous, and it has purple swirled around in it, so... I feel like that'll kind of also coordinate with the eye look. And then we have the lip colors. I'm kind of between these two. This one is kind of like a peachy nude and this one is a pink. I feel like the pink probably will go the best with the colors that I have on already, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. With these stains, I like to just kind of apply a little bit and then pat it in. It just gives more of like a soft, diffused look and it still retains the glossiness. They're not drying like a lot of other lip stains are. I think this was the right choice. This is such a beautiful color. It's like the lip version of that blush. Seriously, ColourPop did it again. I am just really impressed. I love the way that this look came out from the eyes to the blush to the lips. Everything is so beautiful. And just a quick recap on some of the other products. I really love the Good Molecules sunscreen. I think this has such an amazing texture for a mineral formula. It's not thick or sticky. It feels so nice and it sat really well under my makeup. The jury is still out on the Tatcha neck cream. I don't really see a big difference. I feel like my neck looks a little more hydrated maybe than when I started, but this is something that I'm gonna have to use long-term and just update you guys down the road. I'm really excited about the Tatcha body butter though. I think this feels amazing and I can't wait to just use it after my next shower. As far as the mad love eyebrow thing goes, I don't know, I just kind of am a little bit skeptical. I think my brows came out okay. I'm not even quite a fan of this color. I think it's maybe just a little bit too kind of yellowy. I prefer a very cool toned taupey color for my brows. I just felt like this whole thing was just kind of cumbersome to use, but I'll probably still use the stencils. So, um, so I think that's everything guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all the products down below. Are you interested in trying the new ColourPop collection or any of the other products I shared today? I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. And I just want to thank you so much for clicking on this video, for spending time with me. I really appreciate it so much. And I'll go ahead and put up a playlist of some favorite videos that I've done recently that I would love for you to check out if you have some time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.